Come in. Oh, hello. Hi. You're Stacy, right? Yes. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing. Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> so what's going to be the issue? Because my husband and me, you know, it would be going through fights and things, you know, like, I was with my girlfriends and, like, I was telling them the stories and, like, mm -hmm. what was going on, you know, and I went there looking just like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, My shirt's dirty, one earring, makeup all over the place, oh, you wow. know, my mishmack socks on, mm -hmm. you know, I just haven't been the same, you know? So tell me, what started the argument? What initiated? It was a fight with money. Because mm -hmm. he saw one of the receipts. We were supposed to spend, like, you know, have a little limit of the money. We were mm -hmm. supposed to spend, like, $1,000. I spent over that $80,000, okay. okay? Because it was one one earring, okay? Okay. One earring. It was about, like, two, you know, um, necklaces. Uh -huh. That's, like, both of them, $50, 50, 50, 50. So, if you were aware of the... The limit set. Why did you, you know, exceed that limit? You know, why did you exceed the limit if you know it's gonna cause issues? Well, I exceeded the limit because I was like, we have the money, you know, but I forgot the money that we put to save was for our new house. I forgot. So you went I into just, your savings. Yes. See, that's why. That's why the argument started. Because you went into the savings. You weren't supposed to go into the savings. So tell me a little bit more about the situation. Then I went home and I said, hey, how you doing? He said, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, and then he, um, I gave him a receipt because he had to check my receipt. He's so controlled. Did I, did I tell you that? He's very controlled. Controlling how? What did he do? Oh, my God. So I can't even go out trying to catch a few breaths. And I can't even open up the door. Oh, wow. Like, That's crazy. Literally open up the door and I had it on clothes on. I'm okay. sorry, and, I, and I'm not talking about naked. I'm talking uh -huh. about clothes on, like this clothes, okay? Uh-huh. And um, one day I just went out, um, you know, all by myself. He think I was lying to myself. Oh, are you cheating? And then well, I, have you cheated in the past to make him think that you were cheating? No, he just like that. I never, he probably cheated on me before, but I never asked him nothing like that. So I don't know why he would try to ask me that if I ain't, if I ain't cheating on him. I don't know. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it really is crazy. So I was I was going with um one of the boys that I had like business with because you know business. What kind of business do you run? Well, I run a business like I'm an entrepreneur and stuff. Uh -huh. Um, and I had to um ask him to you know to sell companies and all that. He said, uh -huh. "Oh, are you are you cheating and stuff?" And I, I, I'm, I'm not cheating. And then he gets so mad. I'm telling you, like he's so mad. mad, so mad. Okay, like, so mad. Like his eyes change to colors and stuff. Oh wow! Something like something off from a movie, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? I mean, I was just making a point. I was making a statement. But carry on with your um situation. Carry on. And sometimes he gets so angry that he just hits me out of the blue. Boom! Like wow. that. Wow. And the thing is, I didn't do nothing. I was like, I'm not cheating, I'm not cheating. And he said, So he accuses you of cheating. Yes. Of course. You know, normally based off of the movies I've seen and things of that nature, normally when someone accuses somebody else of cheating and they're not capable of cheating or don't cheat, that person who's accusing you of cheating is cheating. Well, so maybe your husband is cheating. Oh, yes, he is. He is cheating because I went through his phone, okay? Um, okay. We have a couple's phone. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, that means that we have like a face ID, so we took a picture together, uh -huh. so the, the phone knows my face too. So I'm on his phone, I saw this girl named Keisha. Who is Keisha? That? I was trying to see who is that. So have you confronted him about this Keisha? No, I, no. Or well, maybe you should have confronted him about Keisha. This is what I did. I saw the name, and I was like, no, probably one of his co-workers, no. no it probably Where does he work? work? He work, he has a time. Does he company. work? He does work. Are you kidding me? Do you work? Are you working right now? I am a therapist. And I, I, I have, are you working? Ma'am, I am here to help you on your situation, okay? I am here to help you with your cheating husband, okay? I'm not the one with the cheating husband here. You are. Do you have a husband? I have a husband. Okay. He's deceased. Oh, <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> okay? 
Mm. And he didn't cheat. We know how to carry on our conversation. Thank you very much. Um, so would you like to proceed? Of course. Would I'm you not. like to proceed? Yes. Keisha. Yes. And she, and I was like, that kind of be one of his co-workers or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then, um, so I didn't confirm that day. Actually, that night, actually. It was that night when he was in the shower. Mm-hmm. He was just in the bathroom all day. I don't know what he was doing with his phone or nothing. Literally all day? All day, okay? 24 hours. And I had a timer because, you know, we had two bathrooms, so I could just use the other bathroom because he was already in the bathroom. I don't know how you... So you never, you never confronted him about this being in the bathroom situation? No, I thought it was, you know, he's old. Okay, he probably got something going on, prostate. I don't know. I don't know. How, how am I supposed to know? Maybe take him to the doctor and recommend that he goes to the doctor, you know? He don't like doctors. He's scared of them. So I don't recommend. Why that. my daddy? I don't know. Some of his childhood, you know, something that mm-hmm. his dad had. Wait, we're going off topic. We'll get back on topic. Keisha. My name is Stacy Williams. Anyway, sorry, that's a side piece. Side piece? You must be the side piece. What's your name? My name is Dr. Smith. I'm from Akeisha. What's your first name? Keisha Smith? What's your first name? No, that is not my name. What's your full name? My name is Veronica Smith. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. I was saying that Keisha was the side piece. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet she was. Why did you remove your earring? No reason, you know. Please let me know there's an issue. Oh, there's no issue. Okay, well, carry on with your conversation. The anyway. cheating husband with the Keisha co-worker. Come on, carry on. 24 hours in the bathroom. And then, um, I'll be on the door like, are you okay? He said he okay and everything, and I didn't think nothing of it. My mm-hmm. let us, you know, we don't have any kids. So uh-huh. we don't know, like we we don't have to worry about that and anything. So I don't know that it is that's it or what. So uh-huh. I don't know actually. So so it seems to be that he so did this happen after you took the money out or before you took the money out? Ha- after. So maybe this is get back for you taking the money out. Maybe he started cheating. Was he showing signs of cheating before he took the money out? Sometimes, you know, he'll go out late and just come back. Like, he'll work at about 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. He wants to come at 10. Only have a two, two hour shift. Are you kidding me? They have to work. Yeah, I've never heard of a two hour shift. What's the point of going to work? I mean, I'll do it. So, anyway, um, and he came back 2 o'clock a.m. 2 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Wow. That's yes. crazy. Yes, it's, it is crazy, actually. So, what do you think? Have you guys seeked any counseling? Any marriage counseling? No. Because it seems to be that there's issues with money, and there's issues with cheating, and you try to confront him, but he doesn't want to cooperate. I think that's what they got. It. Like you got it. So, you got all that information going on. Do you know what's happening? Did you, Now you have... The little puzzles. Do you know? Can you solve it? Do you have a solution? Or what should I do? Or what should he do to solve this problem? Do you? Well, since you want to talk to me in that way, my Wait. initial conclusion was going to be that you all get a divorce. Oh, so you want us to get a divorce? I'm trying to make this out until we, you know, pass because so that's the y'all part. That's the that's part. Y'all part. part. Y'all part. But you are having an attitude with me because of your cheating husband. You have. Built in anger, anger, that's what you're showing right now, displaying right now, anger towards me over your cheating husband. You must know something about it. I, I don't know anything to do with this, okay? I don't know you just. I'm here to help you. 
Now, can you please allow me to help you? Or you can simply, the same door you entered in, you could politely exit. Oh, I can. And okay, I will well, do that. I can do that. I will. Have a nice day. Girl, please. Yeah. You, better, you better make sure whatever little thing you got going on around here, that you still have it all on business, okay? I'm still going to have a job, either with, oh, oh, with oh, the job oh, or with oh, another. Oh, I bet you because you'll never have a husband, and that husband cheating with me. Huh. <laughs>